Hello everyone, welcome to last day of Marsh Street Code Challenge and today's question that we have is split array largest sum. It's a hard level question on lead code. However, I will rate this question in medium category and if you like today's solution and you, if you feel coding decoded is adding value in your life, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. We also have a telegram group and a discord server. If you have any questions or any feedback with respect to the videos that I am making, please let me know over there. Thank you. Now let's get back to the question and let's try to get the maximum out of it. Here in this question, we are given an array of integers and an integer value m. What we need to do, we need to split this complete array into m contiguous sub arrays. Remember this point, m contiguous sub arrays. What we need to do, we need to write an algorithm to minimize the largest sum of these m sub arrays. For example, here in this case, we are given nums as 7, 2, 5, 10, 8 and the total number of groups that are to be formed happens to be 2. There are multiple, multiple ways to split this nums array into two groups. However, the best possible way would be we make two groups, one of 7, 2, 5 and the other one as 10, 18. The largest sum of these two groups will be 18 which is corresponding to this one and the other one would be 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 5 is 12. So the answer that comes out after the splitting is 18. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it via the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it. Split array largest sum lead code 410. So let's take the same example that was specified in the question. We have the elements as 7, 2, 5, 10, 8 and the total number of groups or subsets that we are targeting happens to be 2 in nature. So what we should do, we'll be using the range based binary search technique to actually identify that maximum allowed value of subset sum. Here in this case, what we will do, we'll simply choose a max allowed subset sum value and we are going to find out the total number of subsets that can be formed out of this input array using this, this max allowed subset sum value. And in case this number turns out to be greater than m then what we should do we should increase the assumption value max allowed subset sum that simply means updating our low pointer otherwise we should decrease our max allowed subset sum and that simply means updating our high pointer so i'll be talking more about it but from the crux of the problem this is the algorithm to go for it you will understand it better when we will iterate through an example so let's shoot for it so let's take the same example that was specified in the question. We again have the elements of 7 to 5, 10, 8 and the total number of groups that we are looking out for happens to be 2 in nature. So in range based binary search technique, what do we do? We take two pointers, one the low one, other one the high one. And what will be the default values of these? So let's assume the low value to be the maximum value that is present in my input array. What is my maximum value present in my input array? This happens to be 10 and what will be my high pointer? So one case would be to consider the entire array as a single subset and the total sum of this entire array would be equal to 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 5 happens to be 14, 14 plus 10 is 24, 24 plus 8 is 32. So one possibility of uh, treating the entire array as a single subset and the total number of groups that would be formed would be obviously one in that case. But in order to take a higher upper limit, we can assume it to be 32, which is the total sum of all the elements total sum and this is the max element present and what do we do now we go and identify the middle pointer so mid happens to be 10 plus 32 by 2 which is 42 by 2 21 now what we will do we have identified the first value of our assumption max allowed subset sum now we will go out and look out for the total number of groups that will be formed with you in this input array with the upper limit of 21 so let's get started what we will do we'll create two variables the first one is total subsets that will be formed tsb and the other one would be the current running sum corresponding to each subset so current running sum crs so let's start the iteration both of them will be initialized to zero by default and right now we have 7 as a first element that means we will simply go and create the first subset let's increment it to 1 and add 7 to it so 7 gets added so what is the current value of current running subset sum it is 7 right now it is way less than 21 that means more elements can be accumulated in this subset so let's proceed ahead next we see is 2 
so let's add 2 to our current running sum variable and the value gets updated to 9 9 is again lower than 21 that means we can accommodate more elements onto this subset let's proceed ahead next we see is 5 5 plus 14 gives me four, uh, 5 plus 9 give me 14 so 14 is also le lesser than 21 as a result of which more elements can be accommodated into this let's proceed ahead next we see is 10 so 10 plus 14 happens to be 24 so as soon as you see that the value exceeds your maximum allowed subset sum variable which is 21 what do we do you have to immediately split the input array at that position so you're gonna make one split over here as a result of which the total subset counts get uh, gets updated by one and the value gets updated to two and also along with this you should all reset this value to 10 rather than 14 because now you are considering a new subset altogether so the value gets updated to 10 which is the current value held at that particular element let's proceed ahead next we see happens to be 8 8 plus 10 is 18 and it's again lower than 21 along with this we have completed the iteration of the over the entire array the total number of subsets that got formed happens to be two in nature but is this all no it's not yet 21 is one possibility of answer but is it the most optimized one is it the minimum one out there the answer is no we could look we should look out for the lower values that using which we are able to form two subset groups for doing this what we should do we should reduce the high pointer from 32 to 21 and let's redo the entire thing again 10 plus 21 is 31 31 by 2 gives you 15 so let's try and check with the upper limit of total sum as 15 how many groups should we make so let's start the iteration and first we see is 7 and let me just create the two variables c current running sum and total subset count tsb is total subset count both of them are initialized to 0 0 by default we see the first element as 7 we increment the total subset count to 1 and the sum gets updated to 7 so 7 is lower than 15 more elements can be accommodated next we see is 2 we have we get 9 here let's proceed here. 9 is again lower than 15 more elements can be accommodated next we see is 5 so 5 plus 9 gives you 14 14 is again lower than 15 more elements can be accommodated next we see is 10 so 10 plus 14 gives you 24 24 happens to be greater than 15 as a result of which we should create a new subset at 10 so a new subset gets created and along with this we should increment the total subset count to 2 because a new subset is getting created along with this don't forget to update the current running sum since you have started creating a new subset to 10 instead of 24 let's proceed ahead next we see is 8 8 plus 10 happens to be 18 in nature again the limit exceeds as a result of which we again have to create a new subset at this particular point Therefore, the total subset count gets incremented by 1, it turns out to be 3. Hence, using 15, we will have to form 3 groups at least, which is not as per the question expectation, because the question said you are only allowed to form 2 groups at max. Therefore, 15 can never be the answer. Since 15 can never be the answer, what we should do? We should increment our low pointer. Low pointer gets updated to mid plus 1 as a result of which the low value gets updated to 16 so now low is 16 high is 21 what we will do we will again calculate the middle pointer and let me just change the color of pen and 15 uh, 16 plus 21 gives you 37 37 by 2 gives you 18 so mid gets updated to 18 and let's restart the entire iteration again let's create two variables current running sum and total subset count let's start the iteration both of them are initialized to 0 this gets updated to 7 and this gets updated to 1 7 is less than 18 as a result of which more elements can be accommodated this gets updated to 9 9 is again lower than 18 more elements can be accommodated 5 plus 9 is 14 more elements can be accommodated 10 plus 14 is 24 24 is way greater than 18 as a result of which we have to create a new subset here the subset can count gets updated to 2 and this value also gets updated to 10 by virtue of creation of a new subset so this gets updated to 10 let's continue the iteration next we see is 8 10 plus 8 is 18 and 18 is also within the limits again we are able to identify that with 18 
a possible solution where we are making two subset is available and valid although 18 turns out to be a valid answer however we should look out for a lower possibility that may exist as a result of which again we will do the same thing we will reduce the high pointer to mid and this gets updated to 18 now high points to 18 low points to 16 again what we are going to do we will calculate the middle one 18 plus 16 gives you 34 34 by 2 turns out to be 17 so there are the low points to 16 high points to 18 and mid points to 17 again let's create two variables one for current running sum other one for total subset count and let's start the iteration and check for some 17 how many subsets should be created so let's start the iteration the first one we see is 7 so 7 gets started and the total subset sum gets updated to 1 7 is lower than 17 more elements can be added it gets updated to 9 9 plus 5 gives you 14 more elements can be added 14 is less than 17 and now 10 plus 14 gives you 24 as a result of which we have to create a new subset so a new subset gets created the, to the running sum gets updated to 10 because you have created a new subset at this particular point and let's continue the iteration 10 plus 18 gives you uh, 10 plus 8 gives you 18 as which which is again greater than 17 therefore we again have to create a new subset over here the total subset count gets updated to 3 one corresponding to this one other corresponding to this one and the third one corresponding to this one again 3 is way out of our limits as a result of which what we should do we should increment the low pointer low gets updated to mid plus 1 which is 17 plus 1 which is 18 low gets updated to 18 High gets update, high is also 18, the loop breaks out and the answer turns out to be the value that is held at the low index which is again 18 and 18 is the final answer. To conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the coding section and I'll exactly follow the same steps I have just talked here. The first task here is to identify the lower bound and the upper bound. So for the lower bound, what do we do? We identify the maximum element that is present in my array and for the upper bound what do we do we to find out the total sum of all the elements that is there in my input array and i have identified them using an iteration over my nums array and once i have done that i have uh, created two variables low and high i applied the binary search range based technique i go and identify the middle element and this middle element would act as my maximum allowed subset sum variable that i showed in the presentation so I have created a helper method, valid division possible using this sub maximum subset total sum variable. It accepts the nums array and the total number of subsets that we are looking for, the target subsets that we are looking for. If such a division is possible, what do I do? I update my high to mid, otherwise I update my low to mid plus one. Pretty simple and straightforward. We have been doing this from quite some time. Once we break out of this loop, I return the low pointer. Now the problem reduces to writing this helper method appropriately so it accepts three parameters maximum possible sum of a subset uh, the nums array and the value of m total subset count total running sum and total subset count is initialized to one total running sum is initialized to zero i start the iteration uh, with each iteration i update my total running sum uh, and adding the current element into consideration into it if it goes beyond the maximum possible sum value what i should do i should create a new subset out of it therefore total subset count is getting incremented the total running sum gets reset to zero and then i add the current element into consideration into it and as soon as i do that i check whether my total subset count happens to be greater than the target that i am looking for if it does then it is not possible and therefore i should return false otherwise I, in case i have never met this false condition i should return true so let's try this up accepted 84% uh, faster which is pretty good with this we have successfully completed the march lead code monthly challenge this is our 10th batch over the period of last 10 months and i can say with a lot of pride that we haven't missed even a single day and it's all be possible because of the love and support that you guys have shown please continue doing the same and i promise the next 100 batches will be ours Please spread the word about Coding Decoded because a lot of effort goes in creating these videos every day and I want to thank you for being such a valuable audience to my channel. Thank you.